thank you for clicking on my video. I couldn't find a complete tutorial on how to get voice commands working in Armour 3, um, so I thought I'd create one because it seems like a complicated process and it actually isn't. Um, I think you think it should be harder than it is. So anyway, obviously you'll need a copy of Armour 3. That's kind of a prerequisite to wanting voice commands in it. This does this um, software will work with other with other programs. However, um, I don't know what they are, but you can find out here. Anyway. In the description of my video, there is going to be a link to GlovePie.org and also there should be uh, the complete script that you'll need to make the voice commands work. Now, if that doesn't fit in because of the text limitations, I will create a page on my website, paste the uh, script there, and you can just go in to that site and I'll put a link to that anyway. So you just, But you do need the script. Okay, so um, go to GlovePie.org. Firstly, you need to click Downloads. Uh, you need to there's a warning about the, how bad the earth is going to be if you don't start doing stuff so you could read it and you can get involved if you want but um, I don't care so I'm going to I already have 100% green power I'm not sure if I do but it doesn't matter now I have version 0.43 um, but you need to pick either 0.45 which has connect support or one of the other two which has got a motor support I suppose 4.5 may have that I don't really know download that file um, and what I did was I extracted it to my in, into the same folder, into the downloads folder. It doesn't really matter where you extract it. It's a very small program, so you can have it wherever you want on your computer. Once you've done that, you need to um, find the .exe and open it. And what you'll what you'll then have is this little um, sort of script. It says a programmable input emulator. Now, what you need to do is you need to go and get the script that's either in the in the um, text section, the comment section of my video. Or if it doesn't fit there, it'll be on a website. And you need to copy it. You need to copy from here. I'll show you. It's from the very beginning here. And the start will be the if said. Now, if this is on a web page, um, it, I, I will only paste this onto the web page. That's all that's going to be there is just this entire script. So you need to, to, to go and get the if said. If Sorry, if it's in this comment section, you need to go from if said down to end if, which is here. And you need to copy everything in between. Then paste that into this section as I just did. Okay. And I'll just quickly break this down for you so you understand what it is. Um, this is the actual script. So these bits in blue are what you're going to say to uh, make the, your squad do what you want them to do essentially. So you need to kind of, you can either print this or you can learn it or you can know what's happening. Uh, you know what's happening or you can just memorize it that's what I meant to say okay so once you've done that you need to save it so file save as now the location you need to save it in is wherever you extracted glove pie which is why I just kept it in the downloads folder um, and inside of the glove pie folder where you've extracted it will be a file called voice scripts in voice scripts you need to name it something just down here um, and it'll be saved as a .pie file I've called it armor 3 um, and uh, so that, that, that's essentially what we need to do. I'm just going to, just to be sure, I'm just going to open because uh, I want it running without, uh, yeah, open without that. Now, each time you want to play armor and use voice commands, you need to go in and file. So you, you open Glove Pie, file, open file, and then pick the one you've got. If you've got other games which you're using the voice commands for, then you need to run those clearly. Um, and you need to find the script yourself. I'm not, I'm not going to put loads on there. Now, before you go into Armor 3, the thing that you need to do is click run. Now we leave that script running while we go and do what we're going to do. And the next thing we're going to do for me is uh, stop recording this uh, using this screen capture and go and use fraps. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to open Armor 3. Okay, so I've come into Armor 3. I've opened the editor. Um, I've got to be careful what I say because um, I can accidentally uh, enable voice commands if I say enable voice commands. Voice commands enabled. Don't listen. Voice commands disabled. Okay. So um, I've created a squad just here. What I'm going to get the squad to do is firstly I'm going to tell them to hold fire. I'm going to run across to about here. They're going to spot this guy. I'm going to tell them to, sh to open fire. Um, or weapons hot I'll say. and Or free or engage or something like that. And then I'm going to tell them to get in this truck. And then that will be the end of the video. But it's literally just a quick demonstration to show you what the voice commands can do. So um, let's go in there and do that. Listen. Voice commands enabled. Squad. Squad. Regroup. 
Squad. Hold fire. Four. Hold fire. Hold fire. Four. Hold fire. Four. Hold fire. Squad. Can't seem to stop four from firing. Squad. Weapons free. Squad. Squad. Weapons free. Th th just so you know, don't listen. Don't listen. Voice commands disabled. The problem I'm having is that um, the audio isn't coming through my headphones. It's coming through my uh, television set. So it's interfering with what I'm doing. You'll have it. I, I can't be keep messing around and going back out and doing stuff. I'm trying to record a video here. So um, it'll be a lot easier for you to be able to make sure that they understand what you're saying and doing stuff. So it does work very well. Anyway, what I'll do next is I'll get them to go and board that truck. So um, we'll we'll head over there, ish, and I'll tell them to get in it. Listen. Voice commands enabled. Squad. Squad. Get in. Get in that vehicle. Roger. Don't listen. Voice commands disabled. What I'm going to try and do is get there first and be the driver, but if not, I'll be able to command them to do stuff. There's a lot more things you can do, uh, such as squad. Oh, sorry. Listen. Listen. Voice commands enabled. Squad. Squad. Copy my stance. Uh, I, I didn't get to be driver. It's supposed to be my thing. Can I? Okay, from the map screen, I can say uh, squad. I can say who's driving? Uh, two. Move there. thought he was in the vehicle. Two. Move there. Two. Move 800 meters northeast. Copy that. And off we go. Squad. Hold fire. Two. Three. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Hold fire. Four. Hold fire. Four. Hold fire. Squad. Squad. Halt. Squad. Dismount. Squad. Form a line. So, don't listen. Voice commands disabled. As you can see, if you had this sound coming through your headphones, it would be a lot easier to, to do stuff instead of having all the extra ambient noise coming back into the microphone. You can see how it works. It's, it, it works really well. Now, there are other um, sort of programs like GlovePi that will run scripts, and there are other scripts, and you can edit the script that you saw uh, just now as, as much as you like. All you need to make sure you do though is have that script running in the background whilst you come into, because the script is running independently, it just happens to be kind of emulating controls within whichever program you're in. Quite, quite sensible. If you like this video, please subscribe, um, please hit like, and please comment a really 
do like it when people comment and I get to sort of chat to you. Um, my name on Steam is Minky San. If you want to hit me up with a friend request, do so. I give away games quite a lot. Um, I, I've got 270 odd games, so when I buy bundles and packages and things, I get free games given to me. I give them away. I often get games for review, and sometimes I'll get sent two or three games and uh, sort of two, three copies of the same game sometimes. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy to give those away to anyone on my friends list, and I literally send out a message and say, hey, who wants games? And people's first one that comes back gets them. That's kind of how it works. So. Please check out my website www.igr.me and I promise I'm going to be uploading more videos um, over the sort of next few weeks. We're in the process of moving house so my videos have been a bit sporadic recently um, and when we first move in we may not have internet for a week or two. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Um, don't forget to do all the things that I said and um, enjoy yourself, have fun um, and uh, have a good life. Lovely. Bye.